everyone, come on and join our Periscope video and we want to see those hearts. We're going to talk about a halotron with... Hi, I'm Ron with Preventa Fire. Today we're going to talk about halotron fire extinguishers, which are specifically designed for electronic equipment. The reason they're designed for electronic equipment is because they're a gas where they dissipate when they hit the air, so they leave no film residue behind to injure the equipment. Whereas uh, ABC Dry Chemical Extinguisher would actually leave its corrosive and can actually get in the vents and would de destroy more electronic equipment in the room than you actually need to put out. Um, sometimes you can tell the difference if you hold the fire extinguisher and you move it from side to side. It feels like there's liquid in there. Well, when it hits the air, it actually turns into a gas. Uh, basically has the same, uh, same characteristics as a fire extinguisher. You pull the pin, you spray, aim, pull, aim, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep the pass. Okay, and as you can see right here, it is a V for liquid and C for electrical. B, C. Right. Now, your normal, B, it's a BC rating. When you get to an 11 pound, it usually comes with a 1A rating. If you have a room where you just want to have a halotron in there and not ABC dry chemical, you can go to a 15.5 pound, which actually has a 2A10 BC rating, which is code for a building. And you can remove the ABCs. Okay, and so this is the halotron. Here's the nozzle. So it doesn't have one that you can actually pick up? No, this one, some of them have hoses, some of them have nozzles, but the, basically you have to pull, aim, Squeeze and do the sweeping motion. Okay. So it has the instruction label right here. See, it's all filled up and in the green. It has a green label. So what's the green label tell us? The green label tells you that it's a uh, it's a different kind of fire extinguisher because all fire extinguishers are red. So it this kind of helps break it up to determine if it's a different fire extinguisher or not on a quick reference without having to read the label. Okay. Good to know. So anything any any halotron extinguisher you get is going to have green on it. Okay. And like you said, it's best for our computers that we have right here, like we to go into these vents. Server rooms are really, really good for it. Like IBM and the big computer rooms, they use Halon uh, 1301, or they use Halotron, they have big systems, and it's, it uh, locks up the whole room. Whereas this is for a small server room, just for, per, just for you know, not having to spend $15,000 on a on a system for a little server room. Exactly. <laughs> this, this is yeah, a that's your best good bet. little... Uh, Good little fire extinguisher. Can I use the CO2 on my car? Water on a kitchen fire? Question mark. So, two questions. Can you use it in a car? And would you put water on a kitchen fire? No, you don't put water on a grease fire because it'll make the grease spread and make the fire bigger. And yes, you can use CO2 on a car. It is a BC rated extinguisher. Okay, so would you keep that one? instead of an ABC in your car or what's the best one for your car? I would keep this in my car <laughs> because this will protect all the electronics if you do have a fire and it sucks the oxygen right from the fire so that's one of the triangles that make a fire burn. CO2 better than powder? It all depends on what you're covering for it. If you got to cover wood, trash, paper, or plastic, the CO2 won't put it out because it's not an, that's an A-rated fire. Is there a mess when using this extinguisher? This extinguisher? Yes. No, it dissipates when it hits the air, so there's no residue like a dry chemical. Which would be like Which would be the powdered kind. Okay. Great questions, everyone. And so what else do we have here with the fire extinguisher? Maybe next time we can definitely extinguish one and show you the difference between... Ron, you're up and working already. You get employee of the week for less. Thanks, Les. See you. All right, thanks, Les. <laughs> oh, someone wants to know if you're married, and another person wants to know if, um, will it hurt if you extinguish this on yourself? No, it won't hurt if you extinguish it on yourself, and uh, I'll skip the other question, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> So, everything looks good. good? Um, are there any more questions out there that are relevant to our fire extinguisher company? And anything with a kitchen, expression systems, chemicals. Thanks. Everything's good. All right. So, thanks for joining. Love to see those hearts. So, next time, everybody, have a good day. Thanks, Madison. It's great. We expect to see you next time.